watching Psychedelic TV. Hi, I'm Max Hayes from the band Psychedelic. In this video, I'm going to show you a new sound for a song that I created using the Electro Harmonix 8-step pedal and other effects. The inspirations to this sound came from another Electro Harmonix pedal called Super Pulsar, which is a stereo tap tremolo. This pedal sounds really cool, but because I already had the 8-step pedal, I wanted to see if I could recreate what I liked about the Super Pulsar pedal. For this sound, I'm starting off with a 65 twin sound in my GSP 1101. But any clean sound with a little bit of grit will do. Then I added a compressor on the input signal and also a flanger effect. On the G major 2, I added the pitch effect. This makes it sound like a 12-string guitar. I added a delay effect with only one repeat. I also added a reverb effect to get that big sound. With the Ecolution pedal, I added a longer tape delay with more repeats. To get the arpeggiated sound, I added the 8-step pedal. I've connected the 8-step pedal to the expression pedal input on the GSP 1101, where I control the pre-effects volume, so that the incoming signal will turn off and on with the help of the 8-step pedal. Even though I have a few keyboards, I really like the sounds you can make with a guitar using different effects and make it sound like a synth pad. So far, I've done some effect sounds using different effects in my rack, but also with the 8-step pedal, the microsynth, and the Pictronix Ecolution 2. The thing to remember is that it's always good to be able to sync the effects to some sort of MIDI clock. If you play arpeggiated sound that are not synced to a clock source, then they will start drifting off quite fast and then you start to sound out of sync. So do yourself a favor and check so that your effects can be synced to MIDI clock. You can see more videos about cool guitar sound that I've made using the effects that I've showed you here on the Psychedelic YouTube channel. Well, that is everything for this video. I hope this has given you some ideas on how to use the 8-step pedal and other arpeggiated guitar effects. Feel free to write any questions or comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again. And remember folks, Use it for good, not for evil.